So in Playout 1, we have the ability to merge commercials into a programming log. And the beauty of merging commercials into a programming log means that the programming guys can go off and schedule the next week, the next month, the next year if they want to ahead, allowing jocks and producers to modify the log whilst retaining the ability for the traffic department to still run a daily or nightly traffic log. And essentially what happens is the spots, the commercials, they merge into the points that we've defined in the programming log. However, you may find on occasion that some commercials do not drop into these designated merge points that we've specified. And that's a problem. So let's find out how we fix it. For this video, I'm going to look at the 12 o'clock hour and it's the midday hour. We've got three commercial breaks, 20 to 23, 40 to 43, 50 to 53. Very, very simple. I'm going to have a look at our traffic log here that we've received from traffic. And if we just pause that here for a minute, you'll see the three breaks outlined in the traffic log. And I'll do that for you right now. So as you can see, the first break, 1220, that fits in the first traffic merge point because we're after spots between 1220 and 1223. Same for the 40 break, we're after spots between 40 and 43. And as you can see, all the spots in the traffic log fall at 40. And finally, in the last break, 50 to 53 in the log and the commercials in the traffic log all fit in the 1250 break. Now this is perfect, so let's go and import that traffic log and see how it looks when it imports into Playout 1. What we should find, because the times all match up, is that when the spots do import, the commercials do import, then they should be within the traffic merge points. So let's go and see. There we go. So we've got a lovely sea of green. Isn't that lovely? So you can see here that the spots all fit within the traffic merge start and traffic merge end. Fantastic. Now, that's how it should look. That's how it should look. Reconciliation is going to work fantastically. Everything is going to be just perfect. When it goes wrong is when you've got spots that fall outside of the traffic merge start and end points. So I've modified the traffic log file here to make the first break from 1220 to 1224. So I'm going to import this log and you'll see now what happens. The spots have all now moved from outside of the traffic merge start and end point to after the traffic merge end. This is bad. This is really, really bad. Not only will reconciliation not work, but if we re-import a traffic log, we're going to have orphan spots. And that means we're going to have a double the traffic log. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go fix this traffic log, put the spots back so that the spots time fits within a traffic merge start and a traffic merge endpoint. So 1220, I'm going to re-import the log. And what you'll see is the commercials now fit between the traffic merge start and the traffic merge end. But we've got the orphan spots the other side of the break. This is the problem with a traffic log and where the spot break times do not match with the traffic merge times. So we'll go tidy that up and delete those orphan spots. Luckily in Playout 1 Monitor, we have a little setting in here that will alert you should there be any orphan spots and where a traffic log does not merge properly. Simply go and turn on this setting here, alert if traffic doesn't merge properly, and make sure you have set up your email credentials in the main settings and specified a recipient to receive that alert. If you're having trouble with orphan spots in your traffic log, then don't hesitate to contact us if you have any more questions. Just email support at air.com.